get some off my chest real quick. What's up, y'all? Uh, it's Derek. My name is Derek. Uh, you may not have seen me in a while, but I'm okay. I'm alive. And it's it's good. It's good. It's good. We good. We good. We good. Let me get a little air, though. Ain't gonna close myself all up in my car now. Anyway, uh, just had to get some off my chest real quick. Just, uh, here recently, uh, reminiscing, well, not reminiscing, well, yeah, a little bit, but no, just thinking and, uh, you know, having a chance to, uh, to, uh, to reflect, but mainly, this is mainly on the topic, this is mainly on the topic of, uh, here recently watching Power Rangers, yes, I still watch Power Rangers, I don't watch it on the same schedule like everybody else or like kids today, uh, catching it on Netflix, of course. But yes, this is on the topic of Power Rangers. Yes, I am a fan of Power Rangers. That is no secret at this point in my life right now. I love Power Rangers. I'm not afraid to say that at 28 years old. I love Power Rangers. I love tokusatsu. That is what Power Rangers derive derives from tokusatsu look it up <laughs> anywho uh so with uh the current series that's about to do its wrap up here by next month uh beast morphers i'm watching it now currently at the beginnings and i'm like on episode three and some has tripped me out because i you know i recently just paused and was starting to think about things based on knowing that Power Rangers is headed up by Hasbro right now. And I'm like, one of the main aspects being that it's Hasbro, they focus, you know, 110% on merchandise, right? And the toys and focus more so. And uh, not excluding what they've done for the show so far, but it's mainly the merchandise because it's Hasbro. And, uh... One thing that's tripped me out that I just came across my mind was uh, Beast Morphers is about to be over, right? And I'm going to try to make this video not too, too long because now I'm like two and a half minutes past. But anyway, I'm trying to get this completely out, out of my system. Uh, Beast Morphers is about to be uh, done, right? And their focus right now, especially like production and even, you know, production with everything on the basis, you know, past Beast Morphers is now on uh, the next series that's coming out next year, 2021, which is uh, Dino Fury. And I just came across my mind. I'm watching, in particular, where this idea or my brainstorming just came about is uh, episode three of Beast Morphers. And it's supposed to be a uh, Zoe-focused episode for the character Zoe, who, uh, which is played by actress Jacqueline Skislowski. And uh, shout out, by the way, Jacqueline, if you ever come across this video, you are phenomenal. Uh, you are great. You did great. You're doing great. So keep going. Never give up. Anywho, so yeah, came across my mind. Hasbro Lightning Collection. They've come out with four figures in focus for four main characters from this series, Beast Morphers. Tell me why does it make sense that this series is about to be over here by this next month as this video is recorded uh, November of this day that uh, I'll be maybe posting this of 2020 and it's over, the series is completely over by next month of December. Tell me why, how does it make sense that you got lightning collection figures out for the four male main characters of the series, but you don't have lightning collection figures out for the female characters and or the fan favorite character that I've heard about as a fan in the fan community. It's been chopped up that this is the fan favorite of the series, which is Steel, the Silver Beast Morpher, and... Y'all, excuse me, I guess I could direct this to Hasbro. It don't matter. I'm not trying to be on any negative or against or anything like that. I'm just pointing something out that there's no lightning collection figures for those characters at all. 
at this point and Beast Morphers is about to be over before the end of this year, 2020. And it, you know, how does that make sense? It don't. <laughs> it really don't. It's like, and that's that's what trips me out because this is not only what, this is not only a thing that happens in Power Rangers, but happens in any other, you know, series or movie out there with, uh, you know, you know, having a, uh, a uh, diverse cast and diverse gender cast, but it's always male focused. It doesn't make no sense. It's like, why? It's like Beast Morphers in focus here, Beast Morphers is a great, you know, new Power Ranger series. I'm honestly saying that. I, you know, I wait until like the end of the initial series run before I started getting into it right now. And I'm just like, Honestly, Beast Morphers is a really, you know, well, you know, created new Power Rangers series show. You know, it, it's falling into that same realm as, a, uh, you know, Dino Charge, what Saban did prior to. And, you know, and Beast Morphers is falling into that similar range category-wise in being a, you know, a decent, good series. And so, yeah, just came across my mind like... You know, they don't made, you know, being the toy focused company entity out there, Hasbro, they don't made the four main figures for the male characters of the series, the main male characters, but you ain't made no lightning collection figures for the female characters and or the non human character that's also at this point in full unanimous, you know, decision by. You know, the fans out there, me being included fan-wise, you know, a fan that still hasn't had a Lightning Collection figure yet. It doesn't make any sense, Hasbro. It don't. I mean, I know you got a whole range of areas y'all can hit on because of this, you know, fandom. This franchise is, you know, over 25 years old, but it's like, come on now. Like, that don't make no sense in the focus of Beast Morphers, that series, what y'all, you know, started out from, you know, g gaining the the renewing upliftment of the franchise as well as the image of y'all as an entity. How does that make any sense? Y'all have put hardly any, even hinted at any love for those characters for that series that y'all are actually, you know, not only getting boosting the franchise uh, of but also y'all's image as well for the franchise of Power Rangers. It's like, how does that make any sense? It don't make no sense at all. <laughs> it don't. It's like, why? Why hasn't there even been a a trickle leak of anything in finishing out the Lightning Collection uh, line for the Beast Morpher series? And y'all worried about all these other, you know, besides, you know, always MMPR, but always, you know, the other stuff of the fr franchise. But y'all can't complete the focus towards Beast Morphers. And now it's about to, you know, round out ending here this uh, next month of this year, 2020. That don't make no sense. And knowing right now y'all focus on Dino Fury right now, it's like. Yeah, that don't make any type of sense. It's like that just shows I'm I'm being honest and I'm not trying to say anything negative. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying and just giving a not even trying to give what I was about to say. If you could feel that flow coming from me. I'm not I'm just I'm pointing something out that's kind of weird based on you know, as a fan, you know, perspective is like, you know, y'all right now focus on Dino Fury right now, right? Yeah, y'all focus on Dino Fury. So it's like, God bless, man, because it's like all the respect to the the now, then, now, lady actresses, lady actresses who, portray, who uh, portrayed these characters of the franchise over 25 years, every female actress out there under the Power Rangers hat, Power Rangers franchise hat, every last one of y'all, 
phenomenal. So, and even the non-human, you know, voice actors out there for the non-human characters for the franchise. Phenomenal. So, that's all I had to just get off my chest and say here today. And now I'm running past 10 minutes, so this may or may not get posted and I may possibly, you know, cut it up to shorten it. So, anyway, this is Derek. Hello. Nice to meet you if you're just watching this or seeing me hearing my voice. And uh hope everyone's well. And again, Hasbro, it's just a point out from perspective from a fan. Not saying anything negative. Not saying anything against y'all out there. If you ever come across this video, nothing negative. Only pointing out based on perspective and also just giving... uh wisdom of insight so yeah see you guys thank you for watching and or listening and uh i appreciate everyone out there this is derek out